So Kev, let's start with the Luton game. Lots of positives to take from that. Yeah, well, it was a really good performance. Obviously, we need, as you said before, we need to, we need to win games. Um, but there wasn't a lot more we could do, really. You know, we had chances, uh, limited the free scoring team again to two chances, to two shots on target, and, and they take one of them. But the performance itself, I was really, really pleased. It was back to how I wanted the team to play in terms of like the Portsmouth game, the, the Cambridge game, and, and, and patches of the Blackpool game as well. That was how I wanted the team to play, and like I say, they did against Luton. Uh, the game plan, they executed it very well. Uh, but unfortunately we didn't keep a clean sheet and, and we missed chances and, and that's the crucial part of football. Now looking ahead, we've got two games in four days, so how do you prepare your team now? Yeah, we'll have a, couple, have a rest day after, after the Luton game. Um, we've had them in for the rest of the week. Um, been short and bright training. Uh, we've covered the physicality side of it as well and we think we've covered the tactical side of it as well against Exeter. Um, so over the turn, in terms of team selection, we'll have to be quite wary of that in the two games in four days and hopefully coming into Monday's game we won't have picked up any injuries from the Exeter game. Looking at those two games, are we again going to lean towards the youth players to use them as much as we can? Yeah, well, we had a few youth, a few younger players in the side on Saturday. Um, as I've said from, from day one, if, those, if I feel that those lads have, uh, have got a chance and, and they're going to add to the side as well, they, they will, I will give them a chance. Shane been been the classic example. I've already had Justin in there. Um, you know, we've got young lads. You know, Jack Taylor. He's only, he's only 18, uh, but he's back in again. So that's great. Harry Taylor as well. So, um, but we'll be looking. We're we'll mix, mixing and matching the group a little bit because you don't want to put all young lads in together. Don't think um, because I think it might make it tough for them. But we'll certainly be trying to utilise our squad. And, uh, and within that squad, there'd be a certain amount of younger players. Because you need those older players to be those experienced leaders to, to get the lads through, don't you? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you do. Um, you know, you need that experience. You need the help. You need the, the vocal side of it as well. Um, and I say some... But these players equally, they'll go in there with no fear. And as I've mentioned before, they, they maybe haven't had the... Over these 10 games, some of the players that have been regular starters have had some real, I, I think, some real heavy knocks in terms of conceding late goals. In conceding goals against a run of play, maybe getting beat when, when you didn't feel we should have got beat. Uh, but these young lads as well, they bring a freshness to it um, and they play without a, without a fear as well. So that can help. We talked about the Taylor brothers. You mentioned that they're both back fully fit now. Um, is there anything else you can give us on the injury front? Like how's Ryan Watson doing? Yeah, I mean, we, we, we were a little bit unsure about him previously, but it looks like he it looks like he'll be having surgery and he'll be out for the season. So this summer period will be very important for him now, and uh, hopefully he'll come back um, back in uh, fit and well for pre-season. And Shane's injury, as we know, he had a double arm break, um, and he's but he's been offered a new contract with the club. Yeah, I'm so pleased for him because he did well in that game. And I'd only seen him in a few of the the um, under-23s games. But he, something about him caught my eye. And I knew he scored plenty of goals a couple of seasons ago in the youth team. And then, and then for whatever reason, it hasn't quite happened. Um, I think he may have been frozen out a little bit. But I, I feel that like I've seen something in him to give him an opportunity. As, as I see it with Justin as well, you know, he could be close to a start soon because um, he's coming on. The early couple of games, I don't think he affected it maybe as much as what I would have wanted. Um, but now he's coming on and he's getting chances. He was one of the lads who had a chance when he came on. So, like I say, these, these lads will get chances now. With the extra, extra game specifically, um, what do you know about the gaffer down there and how he sets up his team? Yeah, well, I've been at two football clubs with Tiz. Um, he's, a, he's a real gentleman. He's a really good bloke. Um, he's an astute manager. Very, very astute manager. He runs that club from top to bottom. You know, everything about it, he, he runs that club. He's had opportunities to leave um, and move on to what people would maybe class as bigger clubs, but I know that he, he likes it down there. Um, and he, and he, every, every, they had a poor start to the season. Uh, but you knew when you were looking at that list of teams that were down there that they would climb out of it. Um, and, and he gets some good young players in. He's got the right balance between getting them in the side and maybe selling them on. Um, and, and he did mix his... Uh, Mixes those young lads with some experience as well in terms of uh, Lloyd James and a few other lads they've got in there. Because they're pushing for playoffs, aren't they? Pushing for a playoff spot, so it's not going to be an easy trip. Is no, it? not at all. It's always difficult going there. They've, they've, he's, got, he's got a formula that works. He can he can change his system four times in a game, um, but all the players because he's had them for a while and he, and he works on it in his pre-season. 
all the players know exactly what they need to do when he decides to change it. So you've got to be aware um, of what he can offer from the bench as well. On Monday, we've got Wickham here at home. Um, at the minute, we're running a promotion, kids for a quid to come in here and, and fill the ground. That's got to be good, hasn't it, for our boys, for the fans to get behind them? Oh, that'd be brilliant, yeah. I mean, if you can get people coming in, if you can get young supporters coming in, and I've, I've said anyway as well that previously, you know, the young players here are the lifeblood of this football club. If we can get young supporters coming in, I mean, it might be a few of them that are a little bit older than some of our lads, <laughs> to be fair. So uh, if we can get them in and, and, they, and they can support, support our players, that, that's fantastic for Barnet.